on Microsoft. Our group members are Zakim Mohamed Kujo, Ali Hamza Ali, Zafar Abdullah, which is me, uh, Saki Bassan, <laughs> the founders are Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Bill Gates is the ex most richest man in the world. Now let's look at a few things about Microsoft. Microsoft is the largest software vendor in the world. Microsoft is the largest software vendor in the world. They have amazing cloud computing services and they have offices in over 60 countries around the world. Their head office is in Albuquerque. Next. Now, the identity. Microsoft started off in 1975. Their first logo was like that. And gradually, their <coughs> final logo, which we can see now, is from 2012. Next slide. First of all, he is like Harvard University. He was a student there, and he left his studies to focus on his company. And Paul Allen left his uh, programming job and joined <coughs> to focus on Microsoft. <coughs> Then Allen abandoned Microsoft. Uh, later, other computer businesses began to uh, create MSDOS, which did not have the graphical user interface which Microsoft had, which was basically their largest leverage. Then Paul Allen left Microsoft in 1983. Now, Project Windows, which is basically why they're famous for. So I have a question for everyone. Why do astronauts not use Windows? Anyone? Because you can open windows in space. So the project windows is a new operating system for Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> they started that year. And they have been they are different, they have been different from their other users and other software companies because they had a graphical user interface with drop down menus and other systems. And as for other operating systems of that time, you have to execute code, but on that case you could just click on it and it would work. Now the largest functional computer software in 1980s. Today we have several other open source uh, software companies, but back then Microsoft was the only uh, company that would provide personal computer services for people. Uh, that would be all from me. I would like to call my next presenter, Sarika. <laughs>